again thank you so much for joining me on today's video if you are one of my old time subscribers from way back in the day i just want to say thank you so much for hanging with me and watching my videos still i really appreciate it i know i haven't been here on youtube very much for probably at least a year and a half maybe even two years and definitely not the last year uh, life just got really crazy and really busy and really real and i just didn't have the time to be on here but i don't know that's just life but now i am back <laughs> with the vengeance so i just want to say thank you so much and if you are new here my name is lisa i have a love passion and affinity for luxury items such as handbags designer shoes travel fashion, beauty, and I share a little snippets of my life with you. So if you're interested in any of those things, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. I'd love to have you here as part of my family so we can hang out, chit chat, catch up, talk, all that other kind of fun stuff. And definitely hit that notification bell below so you will be notified each and every time I upload a video. So... As for today's video, I have a little bit of a controversial video for you. And you guys know I don't like to really do that type of thing here on my channel, on YouTube. YouTube is kind of my happy place where I kind of escape reality, the craziness of my crazy frantic job and other stuff and come on here and talk about happy things and fun things like fashion and beauty and handbags and that kind of fun stuff but anyway yes today we have a controversial video a little bit and it is on what i have in this bag right here yes it is from gucci and unless you have been hiding under a rock everyone in the luxury community most likely knows about gucci and the latest happenings with the scandal with the sweater and all the drama that has happened from that so if you have been hiding under a rock and you don't know what i'm talking about gucci released a sweater called the balakava sweater which mimicked blackface which was pretty offensive to most african-american people i was personally offended by it and i don't know so if you don't know what i'm talking about i will put a picture of it here somewhere on the screen and then a few other fashion houses somehow decided they were going to be a little crazy too around the same time and come out with other offensive things such as prada with the keychain that looked like a monkey with the big red lips honestly that's the one that really bothered me the most um yeah i just couldn't with that prada i just can't even go there anymore and then there was burberry who decided to put the noose around the model's necks as they were running or walking down the runway i don't know i don't know why i, I just don't get it but anyway, um, yeah, so a lot of African-American and people of color and even non-African Americans were offended by it, baffled, um, don't know how it even happened or why. Um, I don't know, I just came on here to hear your thoughts, see what you guys think about it. Since I am an African American woman who is also a YouTuber, I just wanted to ask what you guys think. So anyway, as far as Gucci, um, like I said, I will put a picture of the sweater here on the screen. Uh, when I personally first saw it, I was literally taken aback. Like, I just went... Like, I don't know, I just couldn't believe it. I don't know, my question is, okay, as far as my overseas or followers who are from Europe. I know that Gucci, Burberry, and Prada are not American fashion houses. They are obviously European fashion houses. I'm sure that everyone knows our history of slavery and the pain and deep darkness of our country from back in the day. But I don't know, do you guys overseas in Europe know about blackface or is it common knowledge or is it taught or have you heard about it i don't know is it possible that 
people in these European fashion houses just didn't know or think it would be offensive or I'm just a little confused um, just educate me on that as far as you know what you guys have heard about it or know about it in Europe please I'm just really curious so anyway I was really offended uh, both of my parents are actually from the south and my father is from Texas my mother is from Mississippi and they actually grew up in the times where racism was really really prevalent and obvious and a lot of segregation and actually my father was one of the first people to integrate his college and in his field of study so he was basically the only african-american in his whole class and you can just imagine what that was like he has told me horrible stories of being the only african-american person being isolated being insulted um all kind of heartbreaking stories so um yeah anyway uh i wanted to come on here because i do have this pair of shoes they are a pair of shoes that i purchased from gucci and i actually purchased them before this happened so now they got me feeling some kind of way uh let me show you what they are and i came in this box so uh these are them and what they are, are a pair of shoes so i actually really love these shoes and actually these were in my part of my 2019 wish list but i forgot to include them in my 2019 wish list video and i will post that below uh, if you want to check that out but i always wanted these but i never included it in the video honestly because i forgot and then when i thought about it i didn't want to do the video over again but if you follow me on instagram you're familiar with these shoes because i posted them several times on my instagram page asking questions about them like what color i should get etc etc if i should get them uh several times so uh, if you follow me on instagram i'm sure you will be familiar with them but anyway they are the gucci marmont 55 millimeter loafers in the metallic gold and one of the questions i asked was what color i should get if i should get the gold ones or the silver ones so obviously i have gold and I got these from the Beverly Hills Rodale Drive store, uh, the Gucci store. Um, yeah, so I didn't know what color I was going to get. I basically went in there and they only had gold. They said that they don't sell the silver ones there. So I guess other outlets sell them in silver. But as far as the Gucci store, they only sold them in gold. So my mind was made up right then and there just because of that. But uh, anyway, I actually really, really love these shoes. I know they are not everyone's cup of tea, but I don't know, my brother says they're ugly and they look like old lady shoes. They look like penny loafers, which they do, but that is kind of part of the fun quirkiness about them. And I just wanted a fun, festive, different kind of wacky, quirky shoe. And these fit the bill. But then, you know, I love them and actually I wore them already, uh, you know, before this whole thing came out. So as you can see, they are worn, but I just wanted to come here and reveal them to you. Normally I do an unboxing of new luxury items I get, but I just didn't have time because I needed to wear them before I got to upload the video and i don't know i just like these shoes but with all the drama they just have me feeling some kind of way and i don't know what should i do should i burn them <laughs> uh i can tell you right now i'm not gonna burn them because i do not have money like that just to put up in flames should i obviously not wear them anymore should i sell them i don't know let me know what would you guys do what are you guys going to do with your gucci items are you going to sell them burn them not wear them no longer buy gucci i'm just curious a lot of celebrities 
and people have come out saying that they are boycotting Gucci. Don't wear it. Don't uh, show it. Don't talk about it, etc. For at least three months. But my question is, why only three months? Uh, why not forever? Or why not six months? Um, what is three months going to do? And I get like the whole you know, financial calendar kind of comes in quarters and things like that. So maybe that's where the three months comes from. But I don't know, like, why not buy it for three months and then go about normal business as this never happened, um, you know, in three months. So anyway, yeah, as far as the shoes, I really like these. Like I said, they're just gold metallic they do come in other colors like you know silver uh the silver ones still have the gold ggs on them so they come in a higher heel height they come in flats this heel height which is 55 millimeters they come in mules loafers and these are just metallic kind of gold foiled so they're not like the glitter ones where the chunks of glitter will fall off but anyway they are actually a very comfortable shoe I wanted like a comfortable flat quirky fun festive shoe and these just kind of fit the bill I don't know but now I just feel so uh, about the whole thing and I don't know I actually wanted some other items from Gucci I don't really have a lot of Gucci items you guys know I have a Gucci purse and I wanted another one in a different color and I actually wanted you know the silver ones in this and actually some other colors because these are actually really comfortable shoes so I don't know I guess you know Gucci has apologized do you guys think that their apology was adequate or sincere and the good thing that will come out of it um, is that now they will hire more African Americans and people of color so that they will have a more diverse company and hopefully these things will not happen I'm still really trying to figure out how it happened because honestly I don't know I know that things fashion items just do not you know people don't just think of them and they automatically fly onto the shelves like they have to go through a lot of different levels a lot of different chains of command a lot of eyes are on them so it comes from an idea and then like usually they talk about it you know discuss it among other people and then it goes through marketing and then production so along all those lines like nobody along all of those chains of commands no one said um this sweater I don't think it's a good idea like maybe we shouldn't do that or maybe it would be offensive or no one in here like was oblivious I mean like it like didn't strike a nerve to anyone so that is why my question of I don't know does is it common knowledge in Europe is it not common knowledge in Europe I really don't know anyway let me know your thoughts guys um what you're gonna do with Gucci, what you think I should do with these shoes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.